It's the start of a new week at Willows. Oh, morning. Morning. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Have you seen the email? No. What's the email? <laughs> we'll sing it. We'll sing it now. We'll sing it. Come on then. My hand fell out. No, you lunatic. I don't like the way that's done. It's not just my hand. The well-being and attendance office was set up by Mrs. Ballard when she started here three years ago. Schools are a lot more than just giving kids good exam results. A big part of the job is making sure that they're safe, that they're happy at school. For me, it was absolutely vital that we invested in the pastoral system. They can deal with anything ranging from the fact that you're late for school and forgot your lunch money. Three boys and a husband that I've got to look after at home. <laughs> and how many Willows boys have I got to look after? They are gorgeous. Go, go, go. They can be the sort of people that give you a cold compress if you've got a swollen knee. Yeah, I will smack bang first into a door. They have fantastic relationships with the, the pupils. God, you smell them. Um... Strong aftershave, Roland. There's no aftershave, it's a perfume. Oh, perfume. That's, that's worse. So many children in this school have got all sorts of issues going on in their lives, and it's absolutely critical that we give those kids the same opportunity as anybody else to be able to fulfil their life potential. <sighs> oh, don't do this on me. Flipping out. Hiya, Sean Leon, my man. Year 8 Sean is a regular to the welfare office. Every morning he checks in with Kerry. Your hair looks nice, Sean. You've had a cut over the weekend. Yeah, he looks like Mr Thomas. <laughs> Wipe your glasses, because they're steaming up a bit. Where's your lens today? Like last year, the contacts weren't working in year 6, and I thought it was a nightmare. Why did you not dress up as well? Sean is somebody that's a little bit of an old, old man. Almost in a bit of a Victor Meldrew type of way. But I seem to get on with the dailies more than the monthlies. No, I don't okay. know why. I wear lenses, but I change them once a month. Oh, you say you wear monthlies yeah. then? Yeah. Are you with sack savings? Yeah. I've got the best way of ever, Carrie. If she wants to talk to her, you can have a chat to her, or you can talk about your troubles. One thing after another in this school. It's lunchtime. They see me rolling. They see me rolling. Sean is on his way to lunch club, a place for students who struggle with the crowded canteen. I can't walk as good as the other children in the school. I can't run that fast as the other children in the school. Basically, I've got cerebral palsy. Um, it affects my um, legs. I get unsteady sometimes, and I can have a really nasty fall. <sighs> Tell you what, it's not been the best day ever. If you're somebody that's vulnerable, that you don't feel like you quite fit into a particular group, you can go along to lunch club. Nice lunch. However, I think that Sean needs to be pushed forward to get him out of his comfort zone to broaden his horizons, otherwise he would just stick to exactly the same routines and things that he does every day. Winter's on its way. Winter's on its way. <laughs> Stand in the line. Stand in the line. Line up. Line up. Line up. Line up. The new teacher taking over from me. Oh, yeah. He's a new head of science. Yay! Line up now! Line up! Come in then. It's halfway through period one. How come you're so late? Welfare officer Vicky is picking up one of her regular year eight students. What pupils do you see most? Coral. <laughs> Every day. So you don't really have an excuse for being late then, really, do you? Yeah. She said to me the other day, I don't want to go back to lesson, I just want to sit and hang with you and chill with you. And I said, sorry, that's not the way it goes, like, you know. The main thing is, get to lesson. That is huge. I know, I, as I'm opening that drawer then, I'm thinking, Coral's going to look at that and think, whoa. She is genuinely a lovely girl. She's quite cheeky. 
Cole, do you behave yourself? Yeah, a little bit. No, no. Yeah, no, I don't know. The behaviour in here today is awful. In my year? Like, I'm not one of the worst behaved students and I'm not the best. But, you know, I'm OK. Yeah! Thank you so much! Oh, no! Yes! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Boys, look this way! <laughs> Still talking, really? <laughs> it's 2.15. Vicky's taking Coral to see her head of house, Miss Priday. Found her eventually. There's been complaints from teachers about her behaviour. Ow! Right then. Eating in class, failing to follow instructions, talking over a teacher, bad attitude when called on behaviour, four warnings given and parked. One was the that one... was from these are both from Miss Charles for maths. I don't really want to see any more of this, like shouting at you know, shouting at staff answering back, talking over people. She's quite complex, really, Coral. She's really easy to build a relationship with, but then she's quite guarded about certain things. She's also very strong, she's very tough. But she just always picks herself up. And for a girl of her age, you know, she's got to pick herself up a lot, I think, really. And if you're getting upset in class, like yesterday, you come and see us. What caused that? What set that off yesterday, getting upset? I don't even know. I don't know. I just you sat just crying. Don't. Coral's dad brings up Coral on his, his own. Um, her mum left when Coral was about two years old and Coral very rarely sees her. Um, and dad sometimes really struggles. My dad, I live with my dad. Sorry, dad. He takes on that role of my mum and my dad. He makes the best bolognese ever. And um, he makes nice toast as well. <laughs> They're just kids. Every single one of them has enormous potential. And so many times you see that potential being taken away by their life circumstances. It's absolutely our job in school to make sure that Coral stays on the straight and narrow right the way through school and becomes one of our very best achievers. Pop your hand up if you've got an answer to this question. What would you ask the Queen if you had one question? Uh, how, how does it feel to be royal and famous? Brilliant. How does it feel to be royal and famous? I know, I've got a question. Why don't you sack David Cameron? Sean's got a very political one. Sean's in English with Miss Charles. <laughs> Miss, I've got a good one. Benji. Why are you so old? Oh, that's a bit rude, isn't it? No, no, Miss, she looks very beautiful for the age. My English class is um, a lively class. Oh, you clowns! Everybody in a straight line. Benji first warning. Callum second warning. What? I'm on the first. I think Sean sometimes really struggles with his, his peers. He can easily be disillusioned by the behaviour of others um, because he's a very innocent little boy. Second warning, Benj. <gasps> In fact, he can be easily very upset by the slightest thing. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Sean, just breathe. I'm really upset. It's just the rest of the class does want to learn, so it is not fair. No, I'm not all right, if you want to ask. No, no, I don't want to go. Quite often, he'll ask to come out and one of the TAs will bring him to me. I don't mind him sitting with me in short term, but I would rather him be back in the classes. Look at me. No, no, stop, stop now. Because you haven't done anything wrong. I think he could easily become somebody that actually becomes very much inside his, his own shell. Listen, no, forget it now. No more tears. Pick glasses back on. 
anything that we do with him that brings him outside of his comfort zone um, does carry some risk with it. But actually, unless we're developing him, unless we're working on that whole child, um, we are going to have somebody that as he leaves school and he progresses into the big wide world, life's going to become very tough for him. You think I'm not going to get that? I'm not going to get that A. And you got you got to be thinking. Don't think, just think. Shit or bust. The performing arts department at Willows is so important. Um, I think it's one of the things about working in Wales when I first came that actually I observed straight away is the kids love singing and dancing. The teaching in the department is extraordinary. So I think they find it very easy to inspire the kids. That's OK, isn't it? It's fine, yeah. There's four weeks left of term at Willows and the performing arts department have a big announcement. I guess you can notice we've got lots of new lights here, a new lovely stage. And to launch the um, opening of our new stage, we're going to do a show just before Christmas, lots of songs, dancing, etc. Now, if you would like to be part of that show, I've got a board just outside of Mr Ritter's room. Put your name on that list. Auditions will be next Monday after school. Yeah, it's probably the best year because um, year seven, you, like, you, you get to know the school. Year eight is where you try kind of make up your mind about what sort of thing you want to be when you're older. But I made mine up when I was about one. I want to be an actress or in musical theatre. I love music. I love singing, I love dancing, because it's just music's like me. It's the morning of the concert auditions. Working closely with Sean's mum, Mrs Ballard and Kerry have an idea, which they hope will help Sean integrate better into the wider school. So would you like to be part of this drama thing? Um, It'd be good for you, Sean. Look, look at me. Should we push for you to go, see if you can get you in there? Um, oh, we'll have to see about it, because... You'd have to know by the end of today, because you'd have to go and see Mr Ritter for the additions. I think well. Think about today. it today, because then yeah. we'd have to let your mum know as well, yeah. you're going to come home late. I think his key to success is treating him the same as everybody else, sometimes with a tough love, with a you-can-do-it-Sean sort of attitude, but to make sure that he's got the right sort of kids and the right sort of support around him. Sean's on his way to see Head of Drama, Mrs Windmill. Are you here to see me, darling? Yeah. Come on through. said that I would think about it and I, I, don't, I don't think I should do it right now because it's too early for me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's really disappointing. Yeah. I'm really, really sorry about it. I would love to do it, I would, but I just can't do it right now. What's going on then? It's just that... You, go, you guys go and take a seat over there. It's just too much things. Uh, it's just that uh, if I do things like now, I just don't think I should do it right now. Maybe a few years' time, yeah but not in year eight. Maybe next year. Give it a go next year. How about coming along tonight? If you do that for me, and at the end of that, you think, yeah, actually, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. I... Don't tell me now. Have a think about yeah. that. And we'll have a chat later. Yeah, OK. OK. Do this. I think it's a really daunting thing that we're trying to get Sean to do at the moment, but I really think that 
if he just just sees this at the moment, it'll open so many more doors for him within school. I really do. It's after school, and head of music Mr. Ritter and Mrs. Windmill are holding the auditions for the concert. I met my love by the gasworks wall. With only a handful of solos and over 40 students competing for parts, the competition is tough. Well done. Coral is keen to impress. All I can say is, wow, we got to yeah. Tonight I've landed, pow, right in a pot of jam. What a set of holy cow. I can see such a spark of, of talent in here. I really can. She's just this ball of energy that whenever she's in a room, the room just lights up. They never believe it if my friends could see me now. Well done, you. Well done. Well done. Cool. What a good song. Yeah. So where can you see yourself living? In America, in New York, on Broadway, or Hollywood. I'll have my name in one of those block things. I will. Quick, he's coming. What? He's coming. Here. Who? Who do you think? Him. Oh, Carrie dragged me into it, didn't she? So I, I had no, I had to do it anyway, didn't I? Yeah, I do get a bit nervous sometimes, and it's I I do sweat sometimes when I feel like it's I'm I'm next. So. Around my hometown, making memories and friends. Around my hometown, ooh, the people I've made. I the world is mine. Class, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, well done. Nice. All right. Sean. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, this she's here to take away. Cause I'm happy, come along, and if you know what happiness is to you. Cause I'm happy, come along, and if you feel like that's what you wanna do. Cause give me all you got, don't hold back. Well done, Sean, excellent. Well done, goodbye. Take a bow, go on, take a bow, why not? <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Well done. I felt really nervous. Miss Windmill, Mr. Ritter was looking, everyone was looking and I had to sing. But when that when the song was on, I felt really happy. Right, come on then. Okay. Oh man. Um from the top then? Sean. Yeah, Sean. What do you reckon? Oh, I just saw <laughs> You know when we talked before about doing um, another opening, another show, and I'd said about everything being Dark in spotlight, one person like a cleaner. Cleaner. Because his voice is quite little, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All really quite quiet. And then and the curtains, no curtains open. Boom, open. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Jade as a solo. Then we've got a trio. <laughs> It's the next morning, and the results are in. I 
hope we haven't missed anybody out. Good luck. Come on, there. Let me have a look. Good mine. Oh. They said they you killed in the audition, so what? Ah! Oh, I killed it. Killed it. I got so low because I'm amazing. Oh. <laughs> We have to go off his clothes, because I have to phone my dad to tell him. Oh. Hey, Theo, you better give me that extra fiver. Right, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Should we have a drum roll, Shawnee? Oh, there it is, there. Top of the list. It's because he put my name on. Oh, no, no, I am again. Oh, my God, I'm three times running. I honestly did not think that I was going to be on the board at all. But when I had a look, I had, I was on all three. I was on dancing, acting and singing. Kerry was really happy with me. Wait, hey, matey. I'll be there to watch. No, <laughs> really, you know, it's, they put my name wrong. It's S-E-A-N, not that. That's not even a problem, yeah. though, is it? Hi, Beyonce. Hiya, Dad. Hey. Guess what? Yeah. She always wants me to bring her dad. You know, anything that happens, she can't wait to tell her dad. OK, bye. Was he happy? He went, yay, bye. Do you know why, though? Do you know why? Why? He is really happy, but I think we all kind of knew you were going to get it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Bye. He loves it to bits. You can tell he absolutely loves it to bits. She loves him to bits. And she worries about him, mind, you know. She worries about him as well. But, um, yeah. They have got a good relationship. Mickey! What are you doing? Handstand. <laughs> you should go to gym. That's something you should do. I think you're really good. It's 4.15 and Coral's in the welfare office with Vicky. She knows we'll always be there for her. You know, we make sure she's got all the correct uniform. Bought her a pair of trousers the other day. Just sewing up her, um... Casually sewing up my trousers. If she needs any doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, we'll do that. I mean, I'm taking her to the doctors later, so... Yeah. <laughs> After school. Vic? Yeah? I thought you already had the money for us to go. What are you doing? It's OK, I know what I'm doing. You don't! Yes, I do. I've got to do this, because otherwise it'll be too, like, heavy and... Don't worry about it. For some of the kids, actually, that don't have parental support in the way that most children would expect, it becomes absolutely vital that staff within the school are filling those gaps as well and playing those roles. And definitely Vicky will go way beyond the call of duty to make sure that little girl gets there. Another thing as well, do you have a nice warm winter coat? OK, I'll go to town then just for you. Where are you going? Still got to Google what our yeast infection is. What is it? Abby, we shall find... Abby, we will find out together what a yeast infection is. Childhood. Lessons are over for the day. Here we go. And the first rehearsal for the school concert is underway. Get the pitch spot on start. They're going to hate me, all right? Turn up late. What am I supposed to say now? Sorry, I went down. Kerry and the performing arts department have big plans for Sean. They're hoping he'll find the confidence to open the show. It's going to be very intense, especially for Sean, because he's used to doing six hours in school, straight home to his comfort zone with his mum, his brother, his sister, dad. Is half the school watching? Damn, 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 why am I doing this? I'm hoping he can cope with it, but I think it will be hard for him. Five love, my phone at home. You got your phone? Yeah. 
So, um, Nokia Lumia 635. Yeah. Okay, it's shown you. Yeah. Okay, come here. Yeah. Do you know this begins? Um. Come across another here. Yeah. Another opening, another show. Yeah. In Philly, Boston, or Baltimore. Yeah. yeah. A chance for stage folks to say hello. Another opening of another show. That's it. So, just try sing. Do you know the tune? Um. A bit, yeah. Right, up there. Okay. Do you want to help you? Um, no, I've got the steps. steps. Right. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's going to work, okay? Thank you for uh, sticking with us. This is how it's going to work. Sean, it's going to be lights down. It'll be going to spot on Sean at the front of the stage. Curtains will be closed, okay? And you'll have a sweeping brush. That's right, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah, this is Mrs. Choreography, yeah, okay. and it's going to be brilliant. So you're all behind the curtains, okay? Okay, just try singing. Another opening, another show in Philly, Boston, or Baltimore. A chance for folks to stay hello. Another own in another show. Curtains open, and then you all come forward. OK, that's good. You can have a sit down now. Yeah, OK, thank you. OK, here we go. I do not like that, singing in front of the school. Hopefully it'll be all right in the night, so... Let's see. Oh, he's so cute. Like, he has to do a solo. He sings is so good. Surprisingly good. Coral, sit down. Say, so Coral, can I put it I know, can I? Do you want to warn him straight away? I sit down. It's period three. Coral's in English but has had some upsetting news about her mum. She's no longer going to be allowed to see her on her own. I just had a meeting with my social worker, yeah. She was like, you, you can't see your mum, but now I, I, I have to have supervision. The first person Coral wants to speak to is Vicky. You're upset. Yeah. Why? Everything. My life is messed up. Oh, nothing. It's just about my mum and stuff. My social worker said that I'm not allowed to see her by myself. You can't, I'm so angry right now. You don't understand. I'm scared that I might not see her over Christmas and stuff. Yeah. Like, she's like, it's only for your own good. And it's like, no, it's not for my own good. Like, oh, I don't want to make you upset. Well, you're the one making me upset, not letting me see my mum. But... They're looking out for you, basically, at the end of the day, Coral, and I know that's hard for you to understand. I don't care, anyway. I'll do it, but... Bye, Vic. I took a biscuit. It's just hard, cos you're so young and... just can't help but feel sorry for it, really, and... Like she said to me, it's Christmas coming up, and I know I'm not going to see my mum. Coral? Watch. I haven't seen her for months and oh, it's just sad. I don't care, I don't upset now. <laughs> is that what your relationship hair is like a bit? Oh, I'm gonna cry. Why is it upsetting? Just because I know, oh god, oh, how much she wants a mum. That's what it is. Corals. You need to now watch, OK? I am! Are you looking over there? Oh, 
it's only a week until the concert, and the after-school rehearsals are in full swing. You were the same as the French row. Oh, I think for Carol, it's absolutely critical that she's part of their concert. She's found a niche in performing arts where she feels as if she's part of a big family over there. Somebody to lean on you just be like... <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> oh. What do you think, Miss? I think the power of that is um, amazing. Sean, you got a bit of star quality, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Air high five. <laughs> <laughs> Mabadou's question, it was how do I feel about the how do you feel about the video? Happy, um, encouraged and motivated. Brilliant word. Over the last few weeks, both the school and Sean's mum have seen him growing in confidence. I do have to say, I do hope you're coming along to our show so you can see. Oh, most so certainly, see. definitely. I can't I've wait. Never, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Because, like, when Beat has such little confidence in himself, um, to see where he is now, it's made me so proud. It's unbelievable. But no, he's no, very indeed. secretive. He won't tell me what it is. Well, I'm, got, glad not, I'm not going to say he's either, then, if it's a not. secret. The day of the concert has finally arrived. OK, focus now. And with only hours to go, Coral is struggling with her lines. They could see me now. See, I can't... Little gang of mine. I could have done the power running a pot of jam. What is... I don't know how to do that part. Right, car. OK. Oh, I'm so nervous. Right, listen up now. It's tonight, OK? Do you think that you can do this tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. OK. She just seems to have so many things going on in her head. It's been really difficult to try and channel everything that's going on to being able to deliver a song in a polished manner. No one rooting for you to do this more than, yeah. than us two. There really isn't. We would love you too, but at the moment, you, you're not concentrating. You're not. It's really important that she doesn't let let herself down almost when she's on stage because she's absolutely got got it there it's not because you can't sing it's not because you haven't got the timing it's the concentration you are thinking about other things that are happening forget about all of that forget about it right just zone into that character and completely focus and if you do that don't get upset about it now if you do that it will be awesome And you can probably hear a little giggle in the corner. That is Sean. How was it going, Sean? Really well, thank you. Tell us what house you're in. I'm in Raglan. Woo! That's the best house. It's nearly 5 pm, and for the first time ever, Sean's broadcasting to the entire school. Do you want to explain to everybody um, your part in the show? I'm seeing another opening, another show. Is it in Philly, Boston or Baltimore? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's in Willows High School. <laughs> Tell everybody, get down to the show now. Yes, do it now, please. Louder! Please! Shout it at them! Now! That's better, Sean. Oh, seven, four. Yeah. With no Vicky in school, Coral calls her dad. Is it important to you for your dad to be there tonight? Yeah. Hiya! Because he's my dad, and he, he just has to be there, isn't he? Hello, it's me. Coral. <laughs> who do you think, who do you think it was? Right, you're still going to come, obviously, to the play, and then at five... I'm scary, because he might cry. Love you, I love you, I love you. I will, I will, safe, I love you. I cut him off, I'm off. Well. 
200 friends and family are arriving to see the show. It is good becoming a different character. It's like pretending to be someone else. My friends could see me now. It's about like this girl who becomes famous from nothing, literally nothing. And um, she's in some rich guy's house. And this is like if they like if my friends could see me now. Yeah. What time is it now? Sean's mum, dad and siblings still don't know he's performing the opening number. I feel really nervous at the moment. I feel like, cos I'm opening the show, I feel like everything's going to come on me. Oh, my God, I'm flipping stressing. I might collapse. No, I, I might collapse like one of those people off the movies. Like, oh. The show is due to start in five minutes. Kelly, My dad's not here. I know, not yet, but he will. He's always last minute, isn't he? <laughs> he is always last minute. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to A Night of the Cabaret. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, no, they're starting, aren't they? They're starting. That is scary. Another opening, another show In Philly, Boston or Baltimore A chance for stage folks to say hello Another opening or another show I think it's been such an achievement for Sean to get up on that stage. Wow, what a journey he's come on from that time going back a few weeks where he really couldn't even comprehend the, the thought of an audition. Yeah. It just made all of us proud of, of what he's done for himself. Thank you. What a bunch of divas oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like some people. Come on, pleasure. There you are, special treatment. Coral's dad, his girlfriend, and her daughter arrive ten minutes in. My dad's there. I'm crapping myself. I just want to mess up and stuff. And if I do, he won't be angry, obviously. He'll just be like, well done. But I want that. I want him to like proper high five, well done, stuff like that. Properly, not just well done, if you get what I mean. Do you? If they could see me now alone with Mr. Chow and drinking fancy wine. I like to stumble, bums to see for a fact they kind of talk. Come on, Carl, come here, come here. Come on. Come on. 
You want to go back up there and try again? No? Okay. No. No. Do this. Go back on the max. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. You were doing brilliantly, Carl. Let me go and see. Next up, we have Abby. If she can hold that concentration and look at me through the performance, she would absolutely nail it. And I don't know what it was. I think perhaps she saw her dad in the audience and it just fell apart. It was heartbreaking. It really, really was. It's horrible. What's going through your head? That people don't think I'm good. Oh, never! I was scared then. I swear down. Get it. Listen, listen. What happened earlier? Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's gone. Okay. Hey, I've had. I've, that's happened to me. What? Really? Yes, it happens to everyone. You're lucky. It's happened to you, young. All right, but that does not pee you off now. All right, because you are awesome at what you do. Mr Ritter's determined that Coral's evening can still be saved by her getting up and performing her song again, this time just for her dad. Are you sure you've done exactly what you can do? Come on, babe. If they could see me now, my little dusty girl, Traipsing round his million dollar chicken coop I'd hear those surf shop cats say Brother, get her dipped on a bedspread Made from three kinds of fur All I can say is wow we look at where I am Tonight I'd land a pal Right in a pot of them What a build up, holy cow They'd never believe it if my friends could see me now I think she's an extraordinary young lady. And I think she's made the choice not to let her life outside of school beat her, but to excel in spite of it. I've got a real feeling that actually she might really be able to, to make it in the acting profession where she's so talented. Darling, chicken menu. Listen to me, listen to me. Yeah. Do you know how proud I am with you? I know. All the sky back in heaven and infinity. Yeah, it was good that my dad stayed and watched me. It felt good. It felt better. Better. for the UK, so. I think this school is a very special place. You know, our motto is belong, believe, achieve. Belong, be happy, feel safe. Believe in yourself, raise your aspirations. Start to dream that you're somebody that could be, be someone. Hey, hey. I'm very privileged that the staff in my school care about the outcomes for these kids as much as I do. I think they understand it doesn't matter where you're born. It doesn't determine your life chances. And I think that's one of the reasons this school has actually gone forward so, so quickly, is people signing up to that belief that actually these kids can, can do it. 